Well, there are some people here now that we're adding to the memorial that was set up last night here at Westlake for Summer Taylor. Summer and Diaz Love were the two people that were struck by a car uh, when that car entered the blocked off freeway and accelerated towards protesters. Diaz is still being treated at Harborview while Summer sadly passed away. Early Saturday morning, Interstate 5 was shut down by Washington State Patrol and protesters made their way onto the freeway. Summer Taylor was one amongst a group of protesters seen singing and dancing. <laughs> Moments later, a white car driven by a 27 year old Seattle man plowed into the crowd. Summer and Diaz Love were both hit. Summer passed away later that day at Harborview Medical Center. Summer preferred the pronouns they them and worked at a veterinary clinic in Seattle. Urban Animal posted on their Facebook page mourning the loss of their beloved co-worker, saying Summer is a positive force of nature at Urban Animal and brings joy and laughter everywhere they go. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin tweeted her condolences for their family, saying it is a life tragically lost far too soon, but their legacy will be the real change they march for. Summer was killed on the 19th straight night of protests on Interstate 5. The freeway is not a safe place for pedestrians to be on the freeway, plain and simple. Washington State Patrol announced that protests would no longer be tolerated on I-5, saying anyone, including protesters, motorists and pedestrians walking on the freeway will be arrested. My hope is, as a result of this tragedy, the protesters will reconsider their desire to be on the interstate because I cannot guarantee their safety. According to their family, friends and co-workers, Summer was an animal lover, a kind spirit and someone dedicated to fighting social injustice. Well, according to Harborview Medical Center, uh, Diaz Love is still in serious condition, but they said they are improving. And I did speak with one of Summer's family members. They did not want to go on camera with us, but they did say that they hope people will donate to some of the GoFundMes that have been set up for Summer and Diaz. Live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.